Hello you magical people welcome back on Salt and Sugar Saga and today we are making a twisted version of your regular paratha which we call as pinwheel paratha so first we need to prepare a dough for that and for that i have taken whole wheat flour a pinch of baking soda some black sesame seeds or kale til some salt and water to prepare our dough I've taken regular tap water it's not a warm water it's a regular room temperature water and we'll add little water at a time to prepare a soft dough So for this 2 cup of whole wheat flour I have almost used 1 1/4 cup of water uh every flour has different texture so use accordingly so now we'll prepare our stuffing and for stuffing first I'm going I'm going to chop some veggies so I've taken some uh onion here which I'm going to finely chop Now I'm going to chop some ginger. I have taken I guess it's it is around an inch piece, but I I know it's uh around a tablespoon of ginger. So we'll find to chop it as well. And now I'm going to chop green chilies if you're making it for kid or if you don't like a bit spicy, so you can just skip it. Now I've taken paneer. So I am making it with paneer stuffing. If you want to make it with uh, other vegetables, like uh, you can make it with mixed vegetable or you can make it with cauliflower as well. So crumble it and add your chopped ginger, green chili, and onion in that. So I'm adding my yellow bell pepper as well. So I'm going to finely chop it and add in my paneer. So It's time to season it. So firstly I'm going to add some salt followed by some red chili powder, some cumin powder, cilantro, garam masala and we'll make it with chatpata with mango powder or amchur powder. So mix everything really well. Our stuffing is ready. We'll keep it aside and let's check on our dough now. So I'll grease my palm and knead the dough once again so that I'll make it smoother. Okay now I'll take a big portion of dough and roll it out and smoothen it smoothen it out between my palms and now we'll going to roll it on my worktop with the help of a rolling pin do not forget to dust your worktop otherwise it will keep on sticking again and again Let me remove this odd edges and corners. So now we're gonna spread the stuffing. So stuff it generously. Do not be confused at this point. So once you are done with the stuffing, start rolling it inwards. Mm-hmm. 
very carefully that's why it's important to dust your wok top otherwise it will keep on sticking and it will be difficult for you to roll it okay so now it's done now we'll divide it in equal portions then take a portion press it gently with your fingers or your chubby portion of your hand and keep it aside Now I'll take a portion and we'll fry them on medium heat in 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil. Do not be impatient at this point. You need to have patience. Fry them on medium heat. Do not increase the heat because then you'll have a beautiful outside but it will be raw from inside. Guys, if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do subscribe the channel by clicking on the logo of Salt and Sugar Saga. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates. So as you can see, these are looking utterly delicious. So enjoy these pinwheel parathas. Until next time, keep watching Salt and Sugar Saga. Take care. Bye-bye.